this video, let's take a quick look at how we can enable and also troubleshoot any issues with the employee self-service module at myhrstuff.com. To enable employee self-service module at myhrstuff.com, we can do so in the Quick Hire screen. When we're adding a new employee into Quick Hire, we must type in an email in the self-service email box and hit this enable self-service access button. Once we do this and hit save, this will fire off an email to the employee to set up their account for the first time. It's important to note that the link is only valid for 72 hours, so if the employee does not the link and set up their account within 72 hours, you'll have to resend them an activation email. Now let's take a look at some troubleshooting with myhrstuff.com. Under Employee Admin Tools, you can click Employee Administration and Self-Service Management. Here we can see a full list of the employees within the company. We can see if their self-service account is enabled, we can see the email associated with their account and the date of their last login. At the top here, we have some additional menus we can scroll through. If we want to enable access, we can click this menu here, and it looks like this employee has not had access enabled in the past. We can click this button and hit process, and that'll send an email to the employee to enable their account. If we have any inactive or locked accounts, we can see those in these menus here. It looks like at this point, we have no inactive or locked accounts. Finally, if we want to resend the email, we can click resend email tab. We can search for the date that the original email was sent in, and we can hit filter. Here we can see that these two employees had recently had an activation email sent to them. And here we can click on these two buttons and hit process, and that'll fire off another email to the employee. Going back to the full list of employees, if I click into an employee, it'll drill into this employee further. And on the right, we can see their self-service information. Another way to send them another email would be by unchecking the box, hitting save, checking the box again, and hitting save. That'll fire off another activation email to the employee. If the employee has a self-service account that is locked, this checkbox here will be highlighted. We would uncheck it and hit save at the top. That'll unlock their account and they should be able to log in. If they're having any issues logging in, send them to papertrails.com slash help for videos and helpful information on how to reset their password and any other information about logging in. Should you have any other questions about the employee self-service module or need help setting up and troubleshooting issues, feel free to reach out to your payroll processor.